Boy, do I have a treat for you guys today. Hey, look. It's a netbook. Don't run off quite yet. We'll at least be doing something interesting with it. Um, but first, let's see how she runs with Windows 10 on it. You should be probably scared at this point, uh, but yeah, let's boot it up and see what it does anyway. And how long this takes to boot. Um, yeah, start timers now. Okay, now that wasn't too horrible. Let's see if we can log in. Even the animation of the little loading symbol is laggy and slow and yeah. So in other words, this thing really isn't cut out for running Windows 10 at all. We're still waiting, still waiting. I'm losing my patience. Um, it's booted. But yeah, it's not going to be fun to use at all with Windows 10 on here. So let's put something ancient on it. Say like uh, DOS? Yeah, DOS sounds like a good idea. First hurdle, will it work with a USB floppy drive? Because uh, that's what we have to install it with. Um, no idea. Can it boot off of that? I don't know. We're gonna find out. So, screw waiting for this thing to shut down. Don't care, don't care, don't care. Turn off, turn off, thank you. Can you tell I don't care about this machine at all? All right. Okay, now you can see everything. Let's go ahead and power it up and see if we can get into some sort of boot menu. F12. Hey look, USB floppy drive. It says it's a TAC drive. That's uh, surprising. Uh, this is just some generic hunk of crap I bought off eBay. So, Let's try that. Look at it, it's doing things. Maybe. Nope. Fail. Okay, so it doesn't like booting into DOS off of that. We're gonna have to do it manually. So, jump cut.
yes, we're going with free DOS. Because DOS 622 does not like booting from USB. Holy crap, it's actually working. There, yeah, maybe you can see it now. I hope that's doing the correct thing. I guess I have to tell it to boot off the USB stick again. Yay. Come on. Come on. That was a bit concerning. Continue. Drive D does not appear to be formatted. Yes, please erase and format. That's fine. I sure hope that's not the USB stick that it's erasing. Uh, it should be the hard drive. It looks like it's only going to be able to use two gigs of it, but that's fine. Uh, US English, that's fine. Yes, please. Um, full installation. That's good. Yes, please install FreeDOS 1.2. Yeah, it looks like it's working. And it's done. Hey, it looks like it's working. Alright, let me see if I can pull the USB stick out. Hopefully it'll continue to function without that. And we'll try out some games.
Okay, this is actually running great. Um, <laughs> this is the best I've ever seen this game run, which uh, is really no surprise here, because it's this machine's like ten times more powerful than anything that would have ever normally run this. It seems to be running at a good speed. Um, it's not really too fast, although the scrolling's a bit twitchy. Uh, probably a little smoother than it should be. Uh, the animations all look okay. Although, boy, um, yeah, the whole uh, years take a uh, matter of seconds. Let's go to slow. And that was on average. So yeah, we're gonna actually have to slow the game speed down because it is, uh, it's running a little faster than it should. Still more than playable though. Might have to pause between uh, construction because yeah, that can get a little irritating pretty quickly. Uh, yeah, it's actually running all right. I kind of prefer it running faster rather than super, super slow like it usually does, especially on my uh, L40SX. This is um, a rather painful game to play, but uh, yeah. Let's see, do we have options, sound, speed? Oops. Um, don't think there's any way to get anything other than uh, PC speaker. Oh, an earthquake. <laughs> All right, let's save this. And yeah, I guess that's it, really. Um, don't really have anything else to try on here, aside from just office software and crap that nobody wants to see. Um, so yeah, netbooks are useful for uh, old DOS stuff, I guess, kinda, sorta. Um, yeah, better use than uh, Windows 10, because I couldn't really do anything with it with Windows 10. <laughs> So, I guess if you got an old uh, old netbook lying around, throw free DOS on it. It's uh, better than trying to run a modern OS. That's for damn sure. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed. That was a roller coaster ride of failure, but we eventually got there. So, stay tuned for more stuff like this in the future. Take it easy.